Every year, thousands of birds make an epic journey around the world, across borders and cultures. However, there has been a steady decline in their numbers due to the economic pressures of developing countries on their wetland habitats. To prevent this, we need the involvement of international partners along the flyway. This is the key to the migratory birds' conservation. BirdLife International's East Asian Australasian Flyway Program. BirdLife's mission is to conserve wild birds, their habitats, and global biodiversity by working with people towards sustainability in the use of natural resources. BirdLife is represented by partner and affiliate organizations and country programs in 117 countries and territories worldwide, 11 of which are along the East Asian Australasian Flyway. Key Conservation Issues in the East Asian Australasian Flyway The East Asian Australasian Flyway extends from the Asian Russia and Alaska through to Mongolia. Democratic People's Republic of Korea Republic of Korea Japan People's Republic of China Vietnam The Philippines Cambodia People's Democratic Republic of Laos Thailand Myanmar Bangladesh Malaysia Singapore Brunei Darussalam Indonesia Timor-Leste Papua New Guinea Australia and New Zealand Millions of water birds breed during the Northern Hemisphere summers in highly productive wetlands in the Arctic, Boreal and Steppe regions. At the end of the summer, they migrate south. Millions of land and forest birds also breed in parts of Northeast Asia and summer in Southeast Asia during the cold winter months in the north. Many of them undertake remarkable journeys, which sometimes involves non-stop flights that take several days. The countries along the East Asia-Australasia Flyway support one-third of the global human population. Many of these countries are experiencing dynamic economic growth, which is putting intense pressure on migratory birds and their habitats. The IUCN Red List includes at least 33 waterbird species that occur in the flyway. There are several key conservation issues concerning the East Asian Australasian Flyway. Loss and fragmentation of habitats, and particularly intertidal habitats due to conversion of the tidal sand in mudflats in the coastal regions of Northeast Asia and Southeast Asia for urbanization, industrial, agricultural, and aquaculture purposes. In China, 51% of the coastal wetlands have been lost, while Japan has lost 40% and 60% in South Korea. Availability of information on water bird populations and wetlands are inadequate. Data on population sizes and trends of individual species are critical in planning conservation actions. There is an urgent need to provide training to build capacity in monitoring and a need to harmonize monitoring methodologies within and between countries. Existence of migratory birds and value of their habitats, especially wetlands, are less known to many who live along the flyway. Environmental considerations are currently outweighed by aspirations for economic development. Thus, insufficient attention is given to the conservation of water birds and the environmental values of wetlands within the coastal zone planning management. Conservation Targets The project will focus on globally threatened migratory water birds such as black-faced spoonbill, spoonbilled sandpiper, and Chinese crested tern and other common birds that have declining populations such as passerines and hornbills. Key Intertidal Wetlands in the Flyway Sites were chosen based on their irreplaceability, their vulnerability, and BirdLife Asia Network's capacity to implement effective conservation actions. Han River Estuary Gyum River Estuary 
Yellow River Delta, Chongming Dongtan, Minjiang Estuary, Red River Delta, Mekong Delta, Inner Gulf of Thailand, Gulf of Martaban, North Central Selangor, Bako Buntal Bay, and other possible sites. The bird life partners involved in this flyway program include Wild Bird Society of Japan, Hong Kong Bird Watching Society, Vietnam Country Program, Cambodia Country Program, Haribon Foundation, Bird Conservation Society of Thailand, Biodiversity and Nature Conservation Association, Malaysian Nature Society, Nature Society Singapore, Burung Indonesia. In addition, the program will work with at least three bird-watching societies in mainland China through the China program, with three local organizations in South Korea and an organization working in Asian Russia. The goal of the project is to strengthen the conservation by implementing priority actions at key wetland sites and throughout the flyway. Output and Activities Public Awareness Raising A flyway-wide Welcome the Birds event is planned for implementation by bird life partners and country programs along the flyway. This event will also include events on World Wetland Days to highlight and promote fantastic journeys that these migratory birds take and the need for people to work together for their survival. Research and consultation to prepare for conservation actions on the ground. Hold roundtable meetings and informal consultations with government and other stakeholders about site conservation and management. Scoping studies on the restoration of high tide roost sites for shorebirds. Conduct targeted surveys to fill key gaps in knowledge about migratory waterbirds and intertidal wetlands. Targeted conservation actions for migratory waterbirds and intertidal habitats. Implemented at the project sites through collaborative initiatives engaging local government and civil society stakeholders. Establish local conservation groups or LCGs at the project sites. Rehabilitate degraded habitats at the project sites and prepare a case study on the control of invasive Spartina for application at intertidal sites in China. Understanding of the conservation status of migratory waterbirds and intertidal wetlands advanced through increased research and monitoring and enhanced sharing of data. Regularly monitor the numbers of migratory shorebirds and other waterbirds at the project sites and the condition of their habitats and current potential threats. Promote monitoring of migratory waterbirds and their wetland habitats throughout the flyway. Promote sharing of data relevant to the conservation of migratory waterbirds and wetlands throughout the flyway. BirdLife Partnership believes in a world where nature and people coexist. We invite you to join us. We are global. We are diverse. We are local, and we strive to make a difference.